I'm Ross, I'm the director of OneDrop. And I'm Matt, I'm the cinematographer. And we're here today to talk everything creative and technical around the film. OneDrop is undoubtedly Xander's masterpiece. His work represents everything and nothing. Eight minutes, you have to finish. So OneDrop is a dark comedy about a tortured artist named Xander who's been commissioned by the Queen of Denmark for her 80th birthday ball. Her Majesty has already given you a two million euro commission. Return it. Every oh. last cent. <laughs> but you've already spent it all. We find ourselves in the 14th hour of the deadline and we slowly see Xander's descent into chaos as he tries to complete his commission. <laughs> So on this film, we used the Red's new camera, the V-Raptor 8K. We shot full frame 8K anamorphic, which obviously gave us a huge image to work with. The lenses we used were the PNS Technic Technovisions, an incredible combo when we paired them together. As soon as we were working with that camera in the space, I think it worked really well for the story and really well for the script that Ross brought to me to begin with. You can't milk a peanut. What was really important to me and um, to start off with was just the ability to kind of have this like 360 uh, set design and kind of lighting design, which would allow our actors, Joe and Ryan, to really use the space and allow them to play with their performances. Look, I found a peanut. Mm. Milk it. We didn't want them hitting marks and having to really think about those elements. And of course there are those elements, but as much as we could, you know, we wanted them to have the freedom to perform, right? Yeah, it was really important that we didn't, we weren't restricted to having to light every single setup. We had to light the environment to let them play those roles. That was what was gonna sell this film and sell those characters. And that combined with not having a huge budget for crew, not having a huge budget for lighting fixtures or, any sort of modifiers. Most of our budget went on blacking out that space. Um, we needed a camera that was gonna be versatile enough to work in low light environments and work when those actors weren't standing in a key light. Um, work when we have just practicals and just candlelight maybe in some cases. Um, and the V-Raptor does that, like it just, it performs really well. We didn't have to think twice about, you know, where our actors were landing. We we're just kind of letting them do their thing. What rat? <laughs> I think the colour science of reds has been amazing for a long time and I think this camera is no exception. Our colourist Adam uh, had so much information to work with and he could really get creative with the look that we were going for. That combined with the large image format meant that we could do some really interesting stuff. And I think that shows in the way it looks. This doesn't look like a budget short film. This looks like something that was really considered and properly created. I think a lot of that stems as well, you know, from the, <clears throat> the colour science that you say, but also it brought out the, the tonality of the production design. We didn't want to stray too far away from the natural like hue of the walls, you know, in the church. We're in this kind of decrepit setting that has really rich mahogany tones and browns and, and reds in it. And then also at the same time, you've got the stained glass windows, which were in some shots and they've got the really rich greens and blues. So all that was considered within the production design. And I think the camera just allowed us to really pick and choose those colours that we wanted to pop. And to expand on that, I think the way that our film takes place in such a small little world that we're kind of peering in over and we're looking, we're observing, worked really well. Like, you know, we, we had this enormous building and we had the shafts of light coming in through the stained glass windows and everything feels like it's encroaching on these characters. And I think the wide lenses, being close to wide lenses, the big image format, being able to pull those interesting colours out and being able to work with really low light meant that this camera was perfect. Well, I'll get the ladder. No! There's no time for ladders! Higher! Higher! I'm really proud of the film. We had an amazing crew around us. We had amazing support from friends, family. 
It's been a process for the past two years over lockdown and I just can't wait to see where this leads. Yeah, I agree. I think the choices we made from the get go were, were really positive and paid off. And yeah, I just, I can't wait for people to, to see it. If a genie came to me and said, Hans, I will grant you one and only one wish. I would not wish for fame, fortune, or the fleeting material desires of small men. I'd wish that Xander turn into a lobster, so I could throw him into a pot of boiling water. <laughs>